Russian authorities have drawn up a roadmap for regulating and placing some restrictions on Bitcoin after President Vladimir Putin suggested he is bullish on Bitcoin mining. I'm Natalie Brunel for Bitcoin Magazine, and it seems the complete ban on Bitcoin trading and mining that was advocated by the Russian Central Bank will not be happening. As we reported earlier in the week, President Putin recognized his country's competitive advantage for embracing Bitcoin mining and asked government officials to find a consensus on regulation and taxation through a working group that includes the finance, economy, digital and interior ministries, the FSB security service and the central bank. Now, the central bank there originally expressed the need for a ban on all cryptocurrency mining and trading because it poses risks to financial stability. But President Putin and Russia's finance minister argued that restrictions would cause the country to fall behind in the technology sector. Now, Putin said that the central bank, quote, does not stand in our way of technical progress and is making the necessary efforts to introduce the latest technologies in this area of activity. Putin agrees that Bitcoin carries risks and high volatility, but he now says an overhaul would kill competition and he wants to ensure Russia remains competitive. Now, as for the roadmap for regulation that I mentioned earlier, Russia's deputy prime minister signed the document, which reportedly sets out to introduce know your customer and anti-money laundering rules for cryptocurrency platforms, defining their regulatory status, mandating a supervisory body and establishing penalties for those who don't play by the rules. Now, this could open the door for more growth in the space in Russia. Binance, for example, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, told Reuters this week that it wants to expand in the country. Now, the Bank of Russia is still digging its heels in. It insists on a full ban, but Russia's Ministry of Finance said that by May of this year, there could be a system of compliance control for peer-to-peer platforms. And by late this year, anti-money laundering standards and rules for registering and reporting digital assets on crypto platforms could be adopted. We will, of course, be following all of this and let you know what develops. For more headlines, head to BitcoinMagazine.com.